everybody, it's your boy Young Soul, aka Supersonic, and welcome to TJ Young Soul TV, y'all. So let me tell you what we're doing today. So y'all, let me tell you this right now. I'm with a celebrity in the house, y'all. This is another Skaters podcast, y'all. I'm very excited. You know, this is part two from the last one, episode two, y'all. I'm with a celebrity right now. Y'all give it up for my man Quest in the building. You already know what time it is. T-M-T. The money team. The money team. <laughs> Anyway, um, go ahead and like you know, just you know, introduce yourself and tell me about you a little bit. Uh, my name is Quest. I am from Long Beach, California. Um, I've been skating since two thousand seven, and um, you know, something I love to do. I've been doing it for many years and fell in love every year. Wow, so, that is yeah. amazing. Cause listen, your style, your skate style is different. And I love, I really love your style. And I'd be like, Jesus, like, and I'd be seeing a lot of people trying to copy after you. No. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, you got a whole platform, everything, man. You just saw Usher. Was that in Florida? No, that was in New York. That was in New York. That's, yeah, he a, nice had his, uh, That's a nice little outdoor rink, yo. Yeah, he had his uh, skate event out there in New York. Wow. So how was it? Because I saw like, all the celebs. You saw Meek Mill. You saw your man, um, Floyd Mayweather. Like you saw all like all these people were there and won. And I was actually shocked to see Usher skate. Actually, that's the first thing I was very shocked. I was like, "What?" <laughs> like with CC and everybody and Sean. Like I was just like, "I am so proud of y'all, man." And with yeah. him on like you know a skating platform, and everything he is going to like expand this like whole culture and everything too. It's already big as it is, but with him doing sure. it, Lord, now all these children, all these adults, all these people are gonna go ahead and get into it. So yeah. Yeah, um, it was a lot of celebrities there, but overall, it just felt it felt good to be around, um, you know, the culture of skating. Yeah, um, that was probably one of the best outdoor skating I ever experienced because even though the celebrities and stuff was there, like nobody was like being trying to just be in their face. Everybody was enjoying itself. Meek Mill was skating, Flo was skating, uh, P Diddy son was skating. Everybody, everybody was just enjoying itself. Was Nobody in, was I really. I saw Mary J. Blige there too. I was yeah, Mary J. Blige there. She was she was watching. Dr. Dre was there. Jermaine Dupri. Um, you know, it was a lot of it was a good amount of people. But the, what I love so much is that uh, everybody was just enjoying itself. Everybody was being self skating. It was not really no uh, special attention on the celebrities. It was really. The attention went to the energy which was there, and it was like a great energy, which is a black culture just come to come together with the celebrities and you know the skaters, and it was a wonderful thing to be be at. Yeah, cause that was beautiful. Like that was beautiful. I saw that ring; it was glowing, and I think Usher yeah. probably performed live. I was like, "This is yeah. amazing." But yeah, man, right. this is Quest, y'all. Like Quest is amazing. I met him at Cascade in Atlanta. Yeah. A, while, like, a while back ago, though. Uh, back, let's man. say 2019. Really? That I think is, 2000, I think 2019. That is crazy. And then the yeah. whole pandemic or whatever, and yeah. like that went crazy. But yeah, like y'all, when I tell y'all, <laughs> okay, so how did the whole thing go? I know there was a Saturday night, and um, Quest was there, right? And you know, you know, being me, the young was skating that Cascade or whatever, chilling, you know. <laughs> I saw Quest on the side. I was like, Ooh, who is that skating? But honestly, though, I'm not a person. I'm very – I think you came to me, or I came to yeah, you. I came, yeah, I came, I came to you. Oh. I came to you. I remember yeah, I came and to then, you. Know, I was like – and then – because you look, you did look familiar, but I was like, I don't want to get anybody mixed up or whatever. So we had a whole conversation then, and then that was, like, the first time we met each other. And then, like, what else happened? It was a good skate night. Is that when – oh, Lord, is that when they were fighting – um, I don't know. I left early. I just know we, we skated at Cascade before we went to, I think, Sparkles or Golden Glide for the uh, 12 o'clock event. Jesus. Hey, man, y'all be skating all the time. Like, at school. Like, Jesus. Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all, like, he be everywhere. I'm like, I cannot keep up with him, Jesus. Like, I cannot. And also, I just want to say, like, once again, I want to know, like, what the whole thing with you and TMT and Floyd Man was like, how did you meet him? Or how did y'all, like, connect? Because that thing, um, when I saw that, first of all, y'all, you blew up. You went over, like, I think, like, 2 million, like, views on Instagram and stuff. Like, well, you was on his YouTube page, and everything. I'm like, what is going on? So tell me about that. Well, on his page, those that, for that video you're talking about, that video reached uh, 6 million views from his page. 
So it actually kind of grew a lot. But wow. um, in 2019, no matter fact, 20, 2020. Yeah. Um, when I was in, when I was living in California, I would come drive to Vegas and uh, come skate on Sundays. And uh, I was, you know, I'm being myself, just coming to skate. And you know, yeah, Floyd. Like, yeah. Yeah, Floyd ended up, uh, you know, watching me. He saw me skate, and he liked it. He remember he called me over. He was like, hey, man, you know you good at skating, man. Gave me a little fist bump. And then um, from there, I was coming. I was still coming, you know, every other week, driving right. to Vegas every other week. That was like, what, a little four-hour drive? I was just doing that every every, every other week. And then uh, we started. He started. He knew who I was by face because I was coming right. all the time. And then, so, you know, um, he liked me as a skater. And, you know, I asked him, can you sponsor me? And he said, yeah. That is amazing. That is amazing. right? Yo, that is that that is lit. Because, listen, first of all, this, okay, listen, y'all. Floyd, man, man, when I, okay, first of all, when I saw it, I, my, like, mouth, first of all, dropped. Because I was like, one, like, don't he, don't, like, first of all, don't he have his own rink? Yeah, out here in Vegas. Yeah, so it's like I was like, man, I want to be like you, so man. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> like, listen, like this man is on the news, like this man is on like TV shows, this man is getting likes. But I'm like, this is incredible, and it's yeah. like, I listen honestly, like, like I said, like people are now making money skating now, just having fun and living life, and you're traveling everywhere. Like doing everything, you were just like I said, you was just at I think Branchwood, I think, in Jersey, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. were just there, and I was like, Lord, man, if only. And like, who was that? Usher was there, Floyd was there, yeah. um, like a lot of skaters from Jersey that skate down uh, there. Yeah, Bishop, the, uh, the skater Bishop, Bishop. R was, you know the Bishop old man that skating? Yeah, Bishop. Yeah, Bishop was there. Dang. That was a uh, like, yeah, it was cool, man. It was, it was a it was a it was a wonderful day of skating literally. That's good. That's good. Okay, so I wanna ask you a few questions if you don't mind. I wanna go ahead and get yeah. to know you in depth, if you know what I mean. So guys, so listen. So what's your favorite skate move? Skate move? Yeah, like your skate move. Um I like I like everything I do. Do you like everything you do for sure? I like everything I do. Is there, I like really... a, like, is there like a specific move that you just go straight to in your bag? Like when you see like everybody look, like because you be in the middle too, or on the outside, whatever. You be everywhere, honestly, you're doing spins, jumps, splits. I'm uh, like, Lord. I, so, and the fact you I guess, like I guess, I guess my favorite move is doing a round off into a split, like a cargo, you know, to a split. <laughs> that's that's probably like one of my favorite things to do. That's giving ankle breaker, like yo, like yeah. honestly. <laughs> And it'd be smooth too. You ain't crashing down, landing. You that'd be smooth. Yeah. And then you hit a spin afterward. You be like, I'm like, yeah. man. That's how I ended off. <laughs> okay. What is okay? What type of skate do you have? I have a Stacy Adams skate. So here mm -hmm. at, in LA, we use custom skates. Um, Stacy Adams preferably, and we use well, you know whatever type of plate some people got a 45 chicago some folks some of us got a short grip i got a short grip because i need the extra support yeah I, yeah i'm sure for sure yeah. I, I used to have i used to have a 45 chicago uh, plate vintage whatever mm. but um i used to break them one because i used to do all this jumping and landing right. and my <laughs> plate my plate amazing. broke so my plate broke twice from that plate so mm -hmm. i decided to uh stop using that plate and get more of a supportive plate and get a sugar grip, which is a little bit stronger, and that support my jumps and you know all that okay. where it won't break. So yeah, I have sure, a sugar I mean, plate. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, so I have a sugar plate with a um with a Stacy Adam shoe. Yes. For sure, for sure. Because mm -hmm. also it's like, especially with me doing jumps and stuff, jumping the air, three sixties, all that stuff. You need a good plate first of all because you know you're putting all your weight. Well, certain like leg movement or whatever, or twisting. You're putting a lot of pressure on your foot and you know the plate yeah. and all that stuff so yeah you need a definitely like a good like my plate like the shirt grip is not heavy really honestly it's mm -hmm. really not that heavy but it's very durable so that's why i yeah. also have a shirt grip plate too because like right. when we be in the air doing what toe touches and stuff trying not to break yeah. my neck or whatever yeah <laughs> for sure though yeah okay so this is a big thing because i know i think i probably i know what music you like but what type of music do you like 
especially the skate too. Man, the hundred and ten percent me come out when I got in, in order. If you give yeah. me my ODs, if you give me my ODs, my mm -hmm. soul R and B, and then turn me up on some some hardcore West Coast music, you'll get the best of me. Woo, Jesus! I'm a, I'm a, man. I'll say like this, yo. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an organized skater. Yeah. Same. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I'm not out of place. I you. I, I don't skate to anything. I have. If you like, I said because I know what brings the best out of me. So if I want to get the best out of me, I have to stay in order. I don't just do anything. Right. I just don't skate to anything. Like, um, when I come into the rink, let's say if I get to the rink and they, you know, I miss the slow set and they, they, right. they like kind of picking it up. Yeah. I won't be able to skate for real until it's slow it back down. So I get my slow set, and then I could turn it back up. So it just right. um. All depends, but more like I said, more than likely, um, I'm an organized skater. So, and the reason why I say that because I, I practice organized. My, I keep my mind organized when it's skating time. Um, it has to be organized with me. If that's that's the best way you're gonna get the best out of me. For sure, because I'm you not, just can't come in and start skating to like nah. already like a high pitch song or whatever. Or just no, nah, I gotta, like, I, I gotta, I, need, I gotta have my warm up set. I, I yeah. gotta have. A warm up set and then have a mid tempo, then we just go in like from there. And you yeah. know, with me, I love you know, house music, obviously. I love that. Don't, don't, don't. I need a warm up set to get myself prepared, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's some ranks, like, they just come in, and all you hear is dum, 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 dum. Like, you just start hearing like all these beats and stuff like that. Like, give me some, let's say, like, give me some Anita Baker when I come in. Yeah. Give me some of that shy day or something when I come in. You know, something yeah. smooth to, like, get me ready. Like, I got to stretch, like, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, there's sometimes where I just miss stretching because I'm, like, I'm so, like, quick to put my skates on because it's already jumping. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. So, yeah, for sure, though. For sure, though. Um, There's also this one question I'm going to ask you because I was actually going to ask you yesterday, but then I was like, now nah, I'm going to the podcast or whatever. All right? So, after skating, right, after you had a long night or whatever, right, I'm mm -hmm. talking about you done skating at like what's like four or five o'clock in the morning, right? Right. What food place <laughs> do you prefer going to afterwards? No food, just drinks. I just, I just, uh, I probably you know water or uh, you know gator, whatever. I don't really eat right. at the skating rink. But well, before the rink, I'd be, so I before the, wrong, but I just be hungry. <laughs> I just be like, you know what? <laughs> Let's go. Nah, I don't. <laughs> Let's go. I don't. I don't. I mean, if I'm going out with some friends or whatever, they want to go out, yeah, I agree. But if I'm by my own, right. I, don't, I don't really uh, eat after the rink. I just want, um, you know, some fluids and, you know, just drink some water or some vitamin water or whatever, coconut water. Just, gotcha. you know, Co just, coconut that's how I feel. That's how I, yeah, I drink coconut water. I have a nutritionist, and he tells me, you know, make sure you drink more coconut water than um, water. Okay, now you put a little bit more, something. Even though it's got sugar, but he said it's just it's – just, it's just, it's just better for me, at, you okay, know, when gotcha. I skate and all that stuff. So, I, he tells me trying to keep up, keep me up on game and um, drinking coconut water. So coconut water, water, vitamin, you know, water, whatever little yeah. you get right here and there. So yeah. Yeah, cause you big buff, very much Brock Lesnar a little nah, bit. Not yes. like front. <laughs> I'm like, dang, <laughs> little, you know, little hell. But yeah, <laughs> so um, y'all, like I said, thank you guys for joining in to TJSO TV, aka the Skaters Podcast, y'all. Like I said, got my boy Quest with me, y'all. Also, y'all, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, we reached a thousand subscribers. Y'all already know that, you know, turned up. And also, y'all, this whole milestone with me and everything. Thank God, like I said, for like, commenting, and subscribing, y'all. Honestly, man, this is my first guest. Like I said, Quest, man, I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. I said, you know what, Lord, what I'm gonna ask him? <laughs> is he gonna come to my job? <laughs> Nah, you, you, you family, you, you, you family. I mess with you, man. You family. Yeah, and plus it's like you know. Also, honestly, <laughs> it's a good connection. You know, family. You know, even we mm -hmm. thousand miles per hour. Like you know, even <laughs> far away still. Like yeah. we still like this, like this. Yeah. Other half. <laughs> and also, um, I'm gonna say this too. You have okay. Honestly, though, like you've been skating before I am because I'm only 16. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so um, you've been skating longer than I have. You can't have there ever been a time where you've just been like, you know what? I'm done with skating. Like, I'm just over it. Like, I'm done. I'm putting my skates up. I'm hanging them up. Like, I'm over it. Like, have there ever been like a time with that? Um, no, I am putting my all into skating. I, since 
since I didn't make it in football, I switched my football mindset to skating. So that's why it's real personal and serious. And there's nothing to laugh about with me because I'm putting all my passion, all my hard work, everything into this because I'm hoping for something out of a small crumb that we might not, you know, might not even grow. You know what I'm saying? So, because you don't know how far you can go in skating. So, you don't. I'm just putting all my whole faith and everything into this. And I'm hoping for, you know, a big prize at the end, which I also, I also did, I actually did, you know, um, with just being with Floyd Mayweather, that was mm -hmm. like a, a big ticket for me. I didn't see yeah. that coming and happen. And, you know, that was one of the biggest, to be honest with you, that was one of the biggest sponsored announcements ever because think I mean, about it. This is Floyd Mayweather, yo. Like, honestly, Cause sure. normally in the skate world, people will get sponsored by skate shops and a day, a um, Rydell, you know Dale. like like Rydell, short grip you know whatever yeah. moxie um all these other skate right. uh brands mine's a little bit different because i'm not sponsored by a roller skater or you know or somebody who has a skate shop i'm sponsored by you know a a, a world champion in the boxing a world champion. so, pew, pew, so for sure. it's it's a little my sponsors you know being from being one sponsored by is a little bit different but I appreciate that. So that goes along with my appreciation for myself, mm -hmm. my faith, man, and my hard work. And so, cause I actually worked for that, to be honest, man. I didn't, I, that wasn't something that just like happened. Um, right. you had to work I was for really that. working for that, you know? And uh, when it happened, it was like, I'll say it was one of the best things ever. I was actually on my way to Atlanta when he told me he was gonna sponsor me. I was at the airport. I was at the airport and I was getting ready to get on my flight in like an hour and I was sitting down at the airport and um he was like, Yeah, I'm a sponsor you. So I was at the airport in Vegas right here when he said he had sponsored me. That is beautiful, bro. I was like, going to skate a thon. Huh? I was going to skate a thon. When he, when wow. He, when so you I was, <laughs> I was on my way to skate a thon and he, he hit me up and was like, Yeah, I'm gonna officially sponsor you. I was at the airport. That is beautiful. Because, like, honestly, though, it's like, I mean, you know, that I feel like, okay, okay, listen, Rydell is amazing. Sherwood Group's amazing. A day yeah. amazing. But this is a champion. He got his own rank. He got his own diamonds. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> and, like, listen, and I saw the video of his house and all that stuff, with you skating and stuff. Like, yeah. I mean, what, first of all, what a blessing for him to acknowledge you. For him to come to you and be like, you know what? You fire, bro. Like, you you got it. Like, I need you on my team. I need you on my TMT. Like, yeah. come on now. And, <laughs> you know, Floyd, you know, if you're watching this, gang, gang, um, you got another one. <laughs> right. another one. But for sure, though, like, I am proud of you, though, honestly, man. Like, you know, it's hard. Honestly, though, I feel like even though skating isn't clarified still as a, like, national sport, we're literally almost there. To the point where that thing is actually going to be a sport, but, you know, because I see a lot of people beginning to start skating now and all that stuff. Like, like I said, like there's a difference with me. Honestly, I'm gonna say this, no bashing. I feel like there's a difference between people who's just doing it for clout and a person doing it for the love of it. They don't care what's going on. They don't care what the money that they make from it. They don't care. They're just doing it because they love it and it's in their mm -hmm. heart. And not that I'm saying a lot of people do that, but I feel like also Instagram, that's what it's coming to. Because now we can just post a video on Instagram or whatever, and that thing get a million views, like a million views. And guess what? We up there now. We on top. Not like back then where you kind of had to like, you know, work for it, grind every day. Now we can just post one thing, bang, you had 10,000 views. And you get phone calls and stuff like that. Because also TikTok is like also like a huge platform now. It was yeah. music, listen, <laughs> it was music, but before now it's TikTok, and now that's bigger. So, yeah, yeah, like, you know, not that I'm saying, but you were, I know for for sure. You didn't just, you know, just sit around, just like, damn, practice on doing your movie no. stuff. You had to Man. work hard, grind. I, let me say something. Let me say something. What's up? I was, during that moment of me potentially getting sponsored and all of that, um, I didn't even have a car, so, you know, I would walk. I had a car, but it was it was tripping, so I I was I wasn't mobile. So I was walking to the park, six o'clock in the morning, skating from seven in the morning to about eleven in the morning for those couple of hours. Then have work at twelve thirty, 
walk back or whatever, or eat, and then and then go to work, get off around like seven, chill for an hour, go back to the park at like nine, chill for a couple hours, and then go go to the park around like nine, and skate out there till like twelve in the morning with with no park lights. It was dark. Only light there was was on my radio from the um, you know, the little LED lights. Yeah. So I was really out there, like you know showing myself and, and, and showing God that, you know, I really do want these skate blessings. So I'm gonna work for them instead of just praying for them too. Okay. And so oh, that's what I did. And, and to this day, like right now, I, I like, I actually work for this. Like I actually run hills. Like I go running. I, 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 when I go running, I run these, it's, it's, some, it's some nice hills out here in Vegas. So I run mm -hmm. these hills and I run these mountains and stuff like that. And I'm doing all this for skating. And I'm doing it for the stamina reasons because in skating, you need stamina, you need oh, yeah, to drive. Sure. <laughs> so right. this is just all my stamina work. So when I'm running these hills, I'm thinking about skating because that's what I'm putting this work in for. So when I go to any city or anywhere, you know, I have a drive behind me and that's why I can continue to skate. If I'm tired, I can continue to uh, keep skating because I know what I put myself through. I know my drive. I know how long I can go. And so in the mountains I'm doing, I don't think anybody would do them how I'm doing them because these are long mountains. I'm running up nonstop. Oh, yeah, for sure. Really like, high mountains. Like the first part, for sure. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so, tired. <laughs> and I, I'm doing it for the passion, man, and, and the love of it, man. So um, I'm working outside of skating. So in my skates, I work, but I'm also working, you know, outside of my skates, too, by just running these mountains, man, and keep uh, staying in shape mentally physically yeah. uh you know just ready to keep skating that's why it takes me a long that's why i can skate for a long time because i have so much to show as long <laughs> as you play the right as long as you play the right music for me i can keep going that's i can it. keep going <laughs> right so. and also you know, like that's the thing y'all dedication means a lot you know it's i mean listen it's listen i'm not gonna sit here i mean i love skating for sure i love it for sure i love it everything in my soul Mm -hmm. But to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning <laughs> and go and skate. I mean, not that I'm saying I won't do that, but that hey. is a different state. And first of all, you're walking. Mm -hmm. You said you told yourself, listen, I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm most gonna people this. most I'm people wouldn't walk. Ride. They'd be like, if I ain't got no ride, I ain't going. You know, so excuses. I had to I had to do, you know what I'm saying? If you want it, you're gonna go get it. You know what's crazy? Let me share something with you. What's up? So I will. I, I skated. I skated. I trained myself. My warm ups is fifteen minutes skating nonstop. Right. So I have this. This is this is track on YouTube. Uh, DJ T Mac from Chicago. Oh, he yeah. DJ from uh, Chicago. He got a track on there that's fourteen minutes and like fifty four seconds. Uh huh. I skate nonstop to that whole fourteen minutes. That's my warm up. Uh huh. I don't stop. I train myself to skate 14 minutes and 54 seconds, basically 15, 15 seconds. And that's my warm-up. And then after I do my warm-up, then I go skate. Then I continue to skate for another two hours and whatever. But I'm just saying I got my warm-up. That's a warm-up then. Then right. I got my actual skate time I do. So like skating 15 minutes is nothing. My mind's already mentally trained to do that. Um the average person probably only skate probably seven minutes, five minutes, maybe four minutes straight. You gotta think about it. you skate fifteen minutes straight. You gotta. It's like it's so much that come into that man. I put my friend. I was skating with my friend um, not too long ago, and I was like, I told him skate fifteen minutes. He never skated fifteen minutes straight before. <laughs> wow. And you know, he after he got done, he was like, man, I'm tired. I never skated like that before. I never did fifteen minutes straight. You know, just right. fifteen minutes straight of skating. Keep moving. Don't stop. And, you know, from there, he learned something about himself. Wow. Yeah, so. for sure, though. And that's good that you're inspiring other people to do that. Because, first of all, it takes, listen, to do the things that Quest does, <laughs> first yeah. of all, it takes balance, adrenaline, for sure. And it definitely takes a lot of stamina. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that you, like, condition yourself and your mind, physically, mentally, and all that stuff to, like, go at that 15 minutes. I mean... I could go 15 minutes because, you know, they'll come to something for no reason. But, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Overall, though, it's like, um, that, <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> you know, go, but listen, rushing for the water. That's all I'm saying. But that's that's good. And that's something I'm, now you're telling me, 
that's something I think should go do. Work on mm -hmm. your stamina. Work on like you know, like Man, fifteen minutes you work, straight, dog. nonstop. You're moving constantly. That is good. Your That's stamina, good. if you work on, I'm telling you, man, you could be, I could be telling my, my, my people on this side of the coast of skating, you could be dominant. Dominant people don't stop. You can do all the tricks and spins you want. But if you, if you that opposite person that can still go longer than, you know, everybody else that's doing all those tricks and spins, you that got a little bit more value on your side. Right. Because, like I said, anybody can skate three minutes, two two minutes. That's nothing. Right. That's it's, nothing. Like, it's like, who, who, who in it for the long run? You know what I'm saying? Who who got the distance in them? So it's like you want to be entertained by two minutes, somebody skate for two, three minutes, or is it more entertaining to watch somebody skate for 15 minutes? Because right. obviously it's something going through this dude's head that's making him go like that. And what's behind all of that that's making him go? Passion right. and love. So that's why I got in huge just like okay y'all honestly too i mean i feel like this podcast also too can you know make me understand and i'm learning right now you can be the best skater mm. in the world you can have the most skill you can have you all this want. stuff but i learned something that um everybody tell me too be, be always humble because first mm -hmm. of all that's a side effect and i feel like honestly though there was a time that I came across where it's just like, especially to like, especially to the OD sometimes, I just be like, you know what? Like, I mean, sometimes they don't know what they're talking about. They're not like kind of living there. Like, you know, they just skate back in the 80s, 70s. They're not getting with this new generation. But they know more than we know. Cause, yeah. And they've seen this whole evolution of us, right? Yeah. And then my thing is too, it's like, you know, also, I was never, I'm never a copy for sure. I would help anybody who want to ask me, like anybody ask me a question about skating or anything, because I know they would do that back to me for any other situation, mm -hmm. even for side skating, right? And plus, my thing is too, it's like with you, you, I feel like you understand that you're already being named one of like the biggest influence right now. Like, I don't know if you heard it, I, you probably already know, because you're over there smiling, you probably already know. <laughs> because listen, a lot of people are looking at you, man. And they're like, dang, well, if he can go ahead and get big and by just skating, what can I do? Hey, like, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at CC. I'm looking at Sean and everybody. I'm like, okay, I, I love skating. And that's been, I've been skating since I was one when I started walking, right? Mm -hmm. And honestly, my whole thing was, it's like, you know, because I love computer science and everything like that, too. But my thing was always to, like, I want to make money from just having fun, going mm -hmm. skating, going to these national skate parties. And shout out to my dad also, too, for also, because he's also really big in the skate world. Mm -hmm. That's how I got into, like, you know, RTC, Jive, and all that stuff. Yeah. And honestly, though, yeah. So basically, it's like my thing was always this, you know, be grateful, learn. Just listen with your ears. Don't yep. like listen <laughs> and that was a big thing for me i used to be so oh i used to be narrow-minded when i tell you i should be like uh, like what do you know but see hey, training when, shoot when it comes to getting paid for skating mm -hmm. i remember when i was 18 18 or 19 uh -huh. um out here in la when i was 18 19 i'm 27 now but when i was 18 19 Ooh. uh I remember this guy that I know, he he was like, he said, I don't, I don't know why y'all take skates so serious. It's not like y'all getting paid for it. And 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 from that day when he said that, I, I was like, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna get paid from skating. And I'm in position to get paid for skating. I'm so, you know, I, I, I accomplished and conquered something that, that I, you know, that happened, that I heard when I was 18, that he's him saying his comment was, I don't know why y'all take it serious. It's not like y'all getting paid for skating. Stop being so serious with it. And I changed that. You know how many times I heard that? So, but, but I don't think, like, I heard that so many times from other people. Hey. Even some of my own family members. Like, it's so sad. Like, why would you, like, like, I mean, I understand what you're coming from, but why say that? Why try to downgrade it? But see, that's when our time is to because, prove a point. Because um, skating, skate. You can. It's easy to downgrade it because skating isn't looked at as a big, ironic thing. It's not big, 
on TV, like ice right. skating is not our skating. So it's easy to say, oh, yeah, I can get paid for that. Or it's just, it's just skating. Like, nah, it's something in here. As long as you keep your drive, your passion going and keep Amen. searching, you can find something in this. I found something in this, you know what I'm saying? So right. I'm in position, like I said, in my situation right now, I'm in position where I, I receive money for skating. Right. And remember, when I was 18, I was, I was, in, a, I was in a group of circle where I heard, you ain't y'all ain't gonna get paid for this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah, it's not like y'all getting paid for this. And now I get right. I got paid. I'm getting paid for this. So um that's one of the biggest things I like to tell people on my side on this coast, like you know, my younger skaters, uh -huh. um, to keep working, man, keep skating because you can get money from this. It's not yeah. hard. It's not hard, man. Right. You just gotta be a good yourself, you just have to be a good entertainer. A good there. entertainer. Because and with entertainment money. comes money. Facts. And I love that you said that because, and but also one thing that's always like very bad about me, I feel like honestly, there's people who don't have, you know, the best skates, the mm. best outfits, the best, like, you know, not the best of everything, but guess what? Their talent and their skill yeah. shows it all. You know what I mean? Man, my, my skates is so beat up. I don't Woo! People, you talking, you get, my skate is right here. I want to show you real quick. <laughs> yeah, show me the thing. Show Hold on, let me show you that. Hold on, wait a minute, because let me... You're laughing, but <laughs> when I tell you... <laughs> so this is this is my Stacy. As you God. can see, it's really messed up. Oh, no. It's really messed up, you know. It got holes. This one is ripping off. Um, this one right here, where is it at? My whole thing, every, it's just, everything's messed up. This is like a crappy skate. Yeah. These Jeez. are skates. These are skates that I skated in Floyd Mayweather House with. So it's like these mean something to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I hold on to them. How long have you been having those? 2009, 2019, early, late 2019 going into 2020. So like two years now. Jesus, and nobody you skate outside too, cause you be doing music yeah. videos and stuff like that outside. Yeah, yeah, I, I did all my cons uh, right here with these. Wow, same but, okay, yeah. so same around time too. So you guys know I have my days, obviously, and honestly, um, it's about time. Like, I mean, it's not gonna look bad as his, but <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> because listen, and like I said, skates are gonna make a no person better. There's like, listen, you could have the Rydell. 10,000.6. So you can have the best skates. But guess what? Someone with brownies with a big stopper on it or a person with skate like yours, tear them up. ASAP. Like, you don't, like I'm saying, my thing was you don't need like a million dollar skates to be the best. That's what I'm saying. That's the big thing that's coming out now. Like, I'm like, why are you guys getting all these skates? And I understand, you know, you want to try something new, be like, but why buy all these Rydells. Like, there's some people who have, like, five, ten pair of skates in one year. <laughs> nah. I'm like, this is unacceptable. I, like, stay, I, stay, I, stay, I stay loyal to my skates, man. That's why it's so hard for me to uh, switch them and get new ones. Right. I'm yeah. saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's been an amazing podcast. I'm not going to front. Like, I mean, we got so much <laughs> different everything, yo. I am telling y'all, like I said, thank you guys for tuning in, yo. Just having a good, you know, chit chat, one boy quest. You already know what time it is. T M T. <laughs> so wait, so what is the T? What's okay? So I know there's a lot of problem with money in the team, but what's the like beginning of T? The the money team. Oh, so the money team. Okay, so the, it's the money, money team. team. That's yeah. that's a fire logo. <laughs> Not even fire. Yeah. That's a fire logo for sure. But y'all, uh, I'm gonna say this now because I want to close it up pretty soon. Everything because I know this editing. <laughs> yeah. So y'all, okay. I want to get one more question in. All right. So listen up. So, what is like the best moment in your skate life? The best moment in my skate life? Yeah, that you would never forget. Like your favorite moment, top prior. My best moments is my best moments is putting on my skates. Oh, that's beautiful. Forget all, forget, that. forget that. all the mu like forget all the music videos, documentaries, TVs appearances, my sponsorship, 
Oh, that's not that's forget not that the bad way, but just to be able to put on my skates, you know what I'm saying? That's that that ball. that that's like the best moment ever because why? You're able. Right. You know, people walking around here don't even have they they you know both of their foot or their legs. Oh, so just for me to be able to put my skates on, um, that that's like the best moments. That's like one of my best moments in skating. Just being able to place my skates, I put them on. Oh, that 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 touched my heart. That's beautiful. Yeah. That 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 is, and I've been saying beautiful a long time because like not in that way because y'all be taking things a certain ways. Uh -huh. Like that. Okay, what you just said. Like honestly, like. Just to listen, people can't walk no more. People uh -huh. have certain injuries that are for the rest of their life and been skating mm -hmm. like for years and years. Skating to me, honestly, is like a part of my personality. It's yeah. a way I get away from things, from yeah. a certain situation, from like anything that I have that's just going on in my life that is just horrible or just like just any problem. That's my escape, skating. And you see it while I skate. Like there's some days that I just skate extra hard, not only for I to feel like not feel that pain, but just to keep myself together, you know? Yeah. Because you always need that, like, you know, that time where it's just like, I just need to be myself. I need to go out here, just let it all out in the wood. That's all I say sometimes. Just let right. it out in the wood. And you feel like ten times better. Like I just go back and go to cook out. <laughs> You're my little yeah, so. too and call it a night. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> But yeah, man, putting on my skates is the best thing. Um, my best skate moment every time. Um, yeah. I appreciate that. I always thank God before I skate. Every time before I skate, when I get on the floor, I do this thing, which is not a, like a thing that nobody know, know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But um, when I get on the floor, I, I say a prayer before I skate. You know. You do too. Yeah. So I, yeah. I do. I, I I I will get on the floor and I will go like this. You know, just praying. Or uh, cover my whole face and do like that. But within me doing that, I'm saying, uh, you know, my 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 normal skate, uh, my normal prayer, and then I also thank God for letting me be at the ring. So I'll be like, uh, you know, dear Jesus, um, forgive me for all of my sins. God, thank you for letting me be here at the ring, be at the skate, watch over me, God, while I'm here, and um, I give all my glory to you, God. Thank you for letting me be able to skate again. Oh my God! And then yes. I start skating. Wow, that's a because like sometimes with me, even when I'm up for going like before I'm finna DJ or anything, right? Even before a test, even like before I put my skates on or anything, or when I put my skates on, I just go in like a private area, like mm -hmm. the bathroom, just for instance. I mean, you can pray anywhere because God's with you anytime. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I just, just, I just be like, Lord, just you know, thank you for everything, Jesus. Thank you for just like the life and the gift of skating, Lord. Uh -huh. Make sure I don't fall. Make sure I don't bust in the <laughs> Trying to just, <laughs> but like I just go because I'm telling you, you even feel powerful coming mm -hmm. out. Like once you put once you put that foot down and you start rolling, an instant glow, an instant and like you know, and that's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, y'all. So that's it for you know today else on TV episode two. My boy Quest just getting into it. And everything, y'all. Mm -hmm. Like I said, guys, go ahead and make sure you follow his Instagram. Say your Instagram, bro. Uh, my Instagram is Questlove underscore underscore. Yeah, with his million followers. And I ain't got no million followers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, also, guys, um, make sure, like I said, go follow my Instagram, TJ, you know, Soul TV, or just underscore dot TJ. All these dots. <laughs> All these dots and underscores. But, yeah, I'll put it right here, as you guys can see. And also, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and get ready for episode three, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. TJ on TV and my boy Quest. We're signing out. Yo. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh -huh.